Hello there guys, um, I'm not quite sure what day it is today actually, um, Liam's got a day off tomorrow and he's just changed shifts so it's Tuesday night, I can't see anything on my screen or on my phone, um, Elijah's uh, sort of really missing Dean at the moment and um, Dean's just preparing for a very brutal live tomorrow night so please 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 please, um, he will do it in his own time he will do it when he's ready, but he has already announced on his Twitter tonight that child trafficking is going on in the UK. He's willing to put his head above the parapet and he's even written on his Twitter about a couple of things that happened to him. Um, he hasn't mentioned foster care yet. But he has talked about a couple of things that the music industry have done to him. And um, he has already spoken about uh, a couple of things that some mums and their families have done. And he's mentioned some really personal details, what happened to him when he was offered a contract uh, but I let him take the rest so uh, he's planning to go live tomorrow night he's not in the best of places and has a lot to get off his chest he's had a lot taken from him a lot with his music uh, he's been ripped off by the BBC, which he's already now said, so I can say it. Um, when you put yourself out there on Twitter, you put yourself out there on people talking about it, Dean. So, I'm free now. Yes, hey. So, um, I can talk about what he's posted, okay. So, if you want to see yourself, then his Twitter is Dean Samuel 23 um, It's Elijah and Shiloh's father. And he's a very brave man. And uh, I applaud what he is possibly could achieve worldwide tomorrow evening going live. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous because obviously he's lived with me for the last four years. Uh, he still doesn't know how he feels about FEA. It's been a really, really, really hard time for him reading my paperwork, going through, crying over videos and dealing with my sitting in the bathroom, rocking on the floor, uh, silent cries to every person out there who's had their children taken this way, uh, to people out there who don't really know the depth of despair and fear and um, torment that us parents go through not 100% sure whether it's one of our kids is it one of ours is Faith being groomed with her singing and her dancing and all the things that she loves to do for modelling and the music industry and is she going to be taken down that path and Aaron with his skateboarding and his spraying and his art and you should see Aaron's computerised graffiti work it's outstanding even at the age of 2-3 um, is it one of ours? are they um, are they dead? statistically is that one of ours? Is it one we know? Is it somebody we know? Is it, 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 it. David Jenkins, the first thing he ever said to me, he had his hand on my shoulder and he just looked at me and he said, so Kelly, I don't even know if my boys are dead or alive. He said, I have not been able to be processed to any parties of this. I have been pushed from the birth certificate I have not been able to attend meetings I don't even know what's going on I just got a phone call from the mom to say that the police have taken my boys and I don't know what's going on and 
you know, the Welsh fucking police, Cardiff police, you know, baby Anon, I mean, for fuck's sake, how many babies do you want me to list? Jonas, <laughs> baby P, and I'm not even talking about baby P that was murdered, I'm talking about baby with no name from Watford Hospital with 20 fucking police to take a baby. A newborn baby from a woman with stitches who'd been in labour for fucking six days. <laughs> who couldn't even go to the courts. You know what I mean? We saved... We saved the baby at Liverpool. <laughs> we pretty much ordered a shutdown. And got them to set the dates of putting in emergencies for all the defibs and everything just in case... They were going to take this baby. I went hardball. When I come in, I go hardball. I would not have lost that fucking baby today. I wouldn't have lost. You cunts. And I wouldn't have lost the beans case. You fucking cunts and bastards. You fucking screw ups. You are playing with things you don't understand. Do you understand? Do you listen? Are you listening to me? Do you know how fucking down, how many millions of fucking trillions of fucking years this bullshit has been going on? Do you know how many generations this shit has been going on? Be fucking sensitive and diligent and respectful. Border control is getting them talking about the effects and trauma of separating a child. They're talking about the child from the parents. We are seeing the damage to these children. We are live videoing seeing the damage to these children. My children, your children. Get over yourselves. Get over your depression, your suppression and the bullshit fucking excuses and labels and shit that they've given you. Get over your fucking victim fucking bullshit mentality. I keep telling you, you are not a fucking victim of what you've been through. You are an overcomer of what you stand for. And I stand for the children. Not you fucking fuck with incompetent pricks. Get your shit together, get your fucking act together and get out there for your fucking children. Do you understand me? I should not be standing alone. People like Katie should not be standing, sitting on a fucking floor. These courts need storming. Do you understand? When we were in Manchester, we stormed the courts. Do you understand how we got Stephen out of the prisons? We did it peacefully and respectfully. We shook hands with the police officers as we did what we did. We talked to the security. We showed respect to humans. Humans who do a job. Who get up every day to put their children into nursery, into school. To have to leave their old grandparents because they have to go to work. They're going to employ, two, uh, was it, 2,000 new police officers. If you want to stand for what's going on, then come be one of them new fucking police officers. Get your fucking uniform on. Get your fucking boots on. And get your fucking foot, foots through this investigation and this inquiry. Train your fucking asses up. And if you want to talk to people, as seriously, you fucking Christian warriors, you are full of sh fucking shit and bullshit. You don't know nothing. You people have got too much to lose. I know what it's like to have something to lose. I've got two babies in that room asleep. You completely disrespect me because you don't know the whole journey from 2010 all the way through to now. You come in and dribs and drabs, you pick things up, you hear things, you listen to something that somebody says, you get a message about, I'm a fucking Fruit Loop or I'm this, I'm that, she's mad, she's crazy, she's got mental health issues. If I had mental health issues, Oh my goodness, hallelujah, thank the fucking Lord. I wouldn't have lost the baby 
or Sabine's case today. 100% hands down. I haven't lost a baby yet with a parent who works with me properly. And I would actually like, I, I humbly don't talk to, about people who I give time to. Sometimes I even stage things just to get somebody out of bed. I used to get my next door neighbour to come across to give me a hand with, you know, Elijah while I was trying to feed Shiloh or, you know, the woman saved my fucking life. I can't even talk about her or name her because, you, you, you know, it, 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 it jeopardises everything that she's worked for. Don't jeopardise people who need fucking help that you haven't had the time to go and have a meal with these people, sit with them, understand the complexities of their lives, understand the situation that they're in, understand from their point of view. To truly understand from their point of view, to have some form of empathy, understanding and actually have some form of fucking compassion and take your head out your fucking ass and have some form of understanding that time ticks away very, 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 very quickly. When these borders go up, when people try crossing them, I'm even worried about leaving the country with Elijah and Shiloh just because I need a letter from Dean to say because I've got a different name to Elijah and Shiloh that they can detain my children off of me because idiot fucking mothers who make false claims onto fucking fathers that they've done this to bolt with the fucking children and you're absolute fucking dickies of a woman and I don't stand with these women. There's too many of you. There's too many of you who cry fucking wolf over DV, who fucking, I don't know, maybe got bitch slapped because you were a fucking cow. Oh my goodness. If a man is telling you to shut up, if he's telling you, will you just go away? He's at a point that he's had enough. And right now, actually, we need these men to be slightly a bit feisty because we could be in World War Three right now. They are playing border control with each other. They are testing the boundaries. I live in a naval base here in Portsmouth. I see more than you. And I'm not as fucking cokehead as people make out and say, oh, look, she wipes her nose, as I've said. And I probably haven't even got any tissue. It's because I cry a lot. Um, just two seconds. Give me some form of dignity. You know, when a mum's got her legs akimbo, right? And she's just huffed and puffed and moaned and groaned and gone to fucking Heaven Hill and all sorts and has just exhaustedly pushed a baby into this world that she has carried for, in my case, eight months, but nine months. <laughs> Whoa, steady, man. What? I, I mean, uh, oh, yeah, close the door. Like, seriously, like... What do these people who are just coming on to work, who are, you know, just signed in and, and, and clocked in and gone, yep, yeah, you'll walk through the door, hello, miss, all well. Oh, well, have you just had a baby? Well, you know, bring the congratulations cards, great. You know, congratulate the mother, shake the father's hand, go and take him for a fucking cigar. Family should be all outside, ready and waiting. You know, big balloons, or we can't even have flowers in these places now because of people with fucking hay fever in fact you can't even have your fucking family inside the room and outside the room and fuck me you can't even have other people's kids coming onto a fucking hospital ward what the fuck has happened to the celebration of life when did we become so clinically inhumane when did we become so desensitised? When did we become so unaware of what is going on around us? I was on a park with my two boys today, listening to a six-year-old girl face up to a seven-year-old girl, calling her a fucking bitch and a cunt. And if you look at me like that, and I'm like, whoa, steady, Neddy. <laughs> like, come on, calm this shit down. Like... Whoa, like, whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck is going on in this world right now? See, I'm sort of looking at it and I'm having a bit of a... Should I take you on a bit of a my journey? Go on. In fact, I'll fuck your head up even more. Ready? The world's finally been speaking out of fucking control. And even... Do you know what I mean? Like... I mean, I'm, I'm, my, my mind right now is the, the battlefield of my mind right now. Do I believe the Hampstead case matter? Should Sabine get nine years in prison? Should her appeal have been lost? Now, don't forget, I stood 
for nine years of a life sentence. Not me personally, but my uncle Sam, who I was raised as being called my brother Sam because I was temporarily adopted by my nan, which was overturned. Um, and I was blah, 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 blah. You know the story if you've been following me. If not, then, you know, read it in the book. But uh, Sam uh, was committed to nine years into prison. We came out of the Royal Justice when I was about 17. I just passed my driving test. So, uh, in fact, actually, when James Liam's dad wound down the window, I was actually on my driving lesson. I actually failed because I then sort of slammed the brake on as I was told that Sam had been released from prison. Um, <laughs> that was a really funny day. Um, two seconds. Um, so, anyway, guys... What I'll basically say to you is, if and when we exit Brexit, with or without no deal, the golf club membership where people are even discussing the services, I don't know. But we have to have some form of communication with people on other side of borders, because when people don't know... Like, I mean, take this window, for example. I have a window here. So, the window of opportunity. Yay! In fact, this is a good analogy. So behind me here is the window of opportunity. Dun 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 border control. Oh, little Dorothy is going through the uh gate. She's going to cross over the border, but oh whoa, no, they want to check her bags. Ah, what does she do? What does she do? Into the land of the unknown. Do you know what I mean? And then Say, hey, hey, passport's been checked. Ooh. Oh, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. We've now got to go through fucking customs, mate. Oh, whoops, here she goes. Crash and burn. Because the kids get taken. And this is the reality of people who... And it is happening to British crossing over into other countries. It's happening to the... I mean, the, the Italian woman hadn't actually even come into Britain. She had just crossed through because she was an air hostess and she was... Do you know what I mean? Um, and then look at the Spanish families. I mean, just because she's a Spanish, um then, I mean, at the end of the day, um, whether or not she says, uh, ciao, bella, or whether she says hello, it doesn't matter how she greets you, she still pushes a baby out in exactly the same way as I do as a woman, and she still grieves in exactly the same way. And in fact, her husband's probably even more fucking angry than, the, 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 than, than, than Aaron and Faith's dad if he, if he understands what's going on truly or if he just blames me. You know, he doesn't know the truth. He's never bothered to ask me. Um coward you can't even face the mother that you fucked to give children to in the first place what a fucking pussy and a wimp you can't stand in front of the woman that you laid in bed with and you know once actually loved and had children with and come and say look hey what's going on what do you need i've got a really big family how do i help what a fucking wet cunt seriously darken my door Look, 31st of, all, uh, of, of October, whether you like it or not, something's going to happen. Um, and, and with that, there will be a change of our passports, there will be a change of our identification. Everything is rubber stamped with the United Nations. I showed you on... Uh, where is it? I showed you on uh, my live the other night. I did a live about... Uh, where is it? Nah, they're not in there. Are they not in there? I did a live about my passport and I showed you and my driving license and all that sort of stuff. And I showed you on that live how what it says on the front and, and what was in it. I can't even find it now. Um, my driving license was here. I could probably get it so I'd get something similar off it. Um, hang on, my driving license is here. So my driving license. There you go. Oh no, actually, my driving license is a UK driving license. Oh for, no, there it is. I've got the EU thing around it. So if you look at my driving license there, that is it says the UK, but it's got the EU around it. But if you look there on my driving wings, it's got the Great Britain flag. So and that's my driving license to not all put on my 
details so you can't photograph it quick enough. Um, people do, unfortunately, or see my signature and take it. But, um, you know, we have to think about these things now with identity fraud, people crossing borders, people trying to get into places, people being homeless on the streets who didn't quite plan things to be like that. What you've got to remember, and don't hate the Polish or that sort of all culture, because there was adverts over in their country that was basically, you know, go to Great Britain for the house, for the car, for the dream life and all of this, and you just have to take your passport, your ID, and, and, and go to this office and they will give you these things. And that is pretty much what they were told. So don't, they don't, and actually that, basically is 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 the <laughs> is the case really um but we do have to lock that down because <sighs> is the the ground that i stand for actually stand on a floor right now there you go look love over war um so i don't know if you saw that it said love over war oh, it's good the dings graffitied it on the floor love over war um so if um if, say, for, say, namesakes that... Oh, don't forget, I was talking about Dean's live tomorrow. It's going to be interesting. Hello, you. What are you doing up? Sorry. You don't have to be sorry. What are you doing up? I'm on my live, though, darling. I'm on my live. I want you out of the kitchen, though, because Mummy's been smoking out the window and it's dirty. Come on, out of the kitchen. In fact, come on, out of the kitchen here, but... What? It's going to go dark a minute, two seconds. I turn the light on in the hallway. It's a bit bright. I fucking hate fluorescent lights. I do my nut here. Um, anyway, before, 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 before I take you into bed, because I might have to shut the light down to go and sort the lights out. Are you going to say no night? Are you going to say no night? No. You're going to say no night. Shiloh wakes him up by kicking him in the head. You need me to come and lay down with you, or are you just going to lay down and uh, read, read a book? I'll read a book. You'd like to go and just lay her down and read a book. What book would you like to read? What book would you like to read? Uh, and monster truck book. Monster truck? 